Another thing that you cause God to perform a miracle in your life, ni wewe mwenyewe kuwa somebody of importance. Let God know, ninapohesabu wale watu ambao ni wakifaume, wananitetea, wananiakilisha, wanaishi kwa ajili yangu, huyu ni mmoja wao. And God will use you powerfully. Come on and join for say amen. Hallelujah. Siku ya leo ni siku ya ajabu sana. Our message today is areas to overcome. Areas to overcome. Areas to overcome. I need more sound, please. Brown. Areas to overcome. Nangataka katika maisha yako. Maisha yako. Katika huduma ya leo. Na katika neno ambalo Bwana anataka tushiriki leo. Jehova agetaka kutuambia areas to overcome. Areas to Nimeombea kanisa Bwana kaambia endo waambia watu wangu kuna area moja bili nataka wafauru. Kuna area moja bili hizi nataka wawe overcomers. Si vizuri niokoke na iwe kwamba katika hii area nimewezwa. Hii nimewezwa. Hii nimewezwa. Hii nimewezwa. Mungu agetaka uwe overcomer. Semeni amen. You know I always think about uh, wakati Mungu anaongea katika uh, kuhusu overcomers hiyo utasoma kivi yako hivi you know katika uh, Revelation chapter 2 and Revelation chapter 3 jina overcomer limerudiwa mara saba he who overcomes haya there are two uh, two statement katika Revelation 2 and 3 is imerudiwa one aliye na sikio asikie kile roho abia kanisa that one imerudiwa mara saba another one imerudiwa mara saba ni he who overcomes he who overcomes imerudiwa mara saba number saba means complete number saba means perfection wakati kitu kinarudiwa mara saba ni Mungu anasema hii ni na you should be an overcomer. Hallelujah. He who overcomes. Na ukiagalia pia katika kitabu cha ufunuo kuminambili aya ya kuminamonja Revelation 12 verse uh, verse 11. Revelation 12 verse 11. Aha. Revelation 12 verse 11. Aha. Inasema hivi. 12 verse 11. Inasema now wakamshinda. Hallelujah. Now. Now. Revelation 12 talks about battle. Severe battle. Serious one. Nani vita ya shetani riu. Actually, ukisoma hii, hii chapter ya Biblia, utaona tangu muanzo. When them paka kule chini inaongea kuhusu uh, vita shetani wateule wa mungu isila eli and all this inatajwa aha ukiada verse 7 asema na kulikuwa na vita binguni mikaeli na maraika zake wakapigana na ure joka now actually that one inaongea kuhusu Satan akitolewa binguni Satan originally alikuwa Lucifer Lucifer means mubeba nuru bearer of light na alikuwa kiongozi wa idara ya sifa katika jeshi la malaika and the bible says now there's issue here there is war in heaven Bingu mahali mungu anaka. Kuna vita. Iya okay, war in heavens. War in makao maku. Ni kama kusikia kuna vita state house. War and there was war in heaven. Na hapa kuna mikaeli. Na malaika wake. Wakipiga yure nyoka. The Bible says and they fought. Na wakapigana. All through, the archangel is involved. Mikaeli is involved so much in direct confrontation 
with the principalities and Satan. And utaona kwamba uh is monitors these two. That's what I want. The two monitors. Uh utaona kwamba katika sasa the, the katika sasa hii vita Bible sema kwamba verse 7 nasema uh, Mikaeli na malaika zake wakapigana na yule nyoka na yule nyoka na akapigana nao pamoja na malaika wake actually inaongea kuhusu a, 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 a battalion of angels and the bible says in the verse 7 my higher na hawa kushinda wala mahali pao hapa kuonekana tena pinguni Lucifer Lucifer ibilisi na idara yake satanic na idara yake ya malaika wakaangushwa kutoka binguni na pahara pao hapa kuonekana tena that one tatuwezi enda now Na ukienda pale katika aha, verse 11. Now, sasa, there is now, I want to do something. I, I admire the way God works. You see, ukisoma katika maito mesoma, that is Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 and 8. It talks about battle in heaven. Mikaeli who is in charge of battle, fighting against Satan. Na ukiagalia, Bible talks about, shetani anapigwa na malaika wake. And Bible says, na wakangushwa. And their peace in heaven was over. Satan will never, never, ever have a space in heaven. His peace is hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then now, Bible nasema now, the devil appears again. Akiangukia sisi duniani. He has overcome in heaven. Now the next battle, ni sisi tulio ubwa kwa sura ya mungu, ametuangukia. But even sisi abao ametuangukia, the Bible says something. Hallelujah. Ata wale tuko duniani. Bible says, can we read this verse together? And they overcame him. Can you do it quickly? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. The battle in heaven was over. And the Bible says, and the space of serpent Satan and his angels was finished. And I want to tell friends, God want you now to finish the devil down. And God is waiting for people who you do three things. Overcome by the blood of Jesus. The scriptures. The mistake people can do if just to claim you are an overcomer. Now, not Bible says, any statement imetajwa hapa, agalia sasa kuna jina by. See, go. B-Y. Hallelujah. Wamama munaona. Wamama, wamama diyo nyinyi munatagajagwa sana wakati kuna uogo fulani. Because sometimes, you don't go to facts. Mnataka wibo tu, arafu mbabu munaacha. Munaona vye meandiku hapa? Natambu angalie. You see, <laughs> kuna kitu mutu wa mungu razi maajue. You are not an overcomer. You become an overcomer. Ay, amu kushika. You see, Watu wibo wibo ama nova kama. You are nova kama because you have overcome. You are not an overcome by title. You know, that's a big problem. We have a big problem. 
You see, wa Kristo wanadai mimi ni mushidi. Sawa, ulishida lini? Na jana ulitusi, neiba. Ama na vakama, ulishida lini na jana ulifuga biashara. No, you, you see, you are supposed to become. Hallelujah. Watakiwa ushinde na kuonekane ni nini umeshida, diyo wito vakama. You can't just acquire a title to kweke label ya overcome na hakuna kitu meshida. Na wadugu na wadada musidaganyike, you are not an, an overcome until you become one. Musidaganya watu. Na leo nataka mujue kuna areas to overcome. Hallelujah. Unata kwa duka yako jameni, unafunga. You need to start becoming an overcome. I want to be an overcome in my shop. Are you, are you understanding? The mistake wa Kristo ni kwa assume mabo. Hauja pigana, ulishida lini. Mimi ni mushidi, ulishida lini. Ati yeso ni kushida nia. Nata musikize. <laughs> Jesus overcame. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But you can imagine, Bible in Asema hivi. And they overcame by. Did you see that? By. Kuna kitu kinafanya why overcome. They are not just overcomers. Kuna kire kinafanya why overcomer. Number one, they overcame him by the blood. You can't just overcome. You see, <laughs> hallelujah. If you are an overcomer, inategemea umetumia damu ya Yesu kiasi gani? If you have not used the blood of Jesus in your battles, then this one cannot work. It says, they overcame Satan by. By. They overcame Satan by. Hallelujah. It's good to skia kwamba this last week, last week, ulitumia damu ya Yesu kwa magonjwa. And then you say, I overcome, I overcame sicknesses by the blood. Hallelujah. Kuna mchawi naibari kwe. Wajua baba Alex Aikoya inyabia. Kuna mtu kwa wa sita asema. Na kupaka yu vita tulipigana. It's true. Let me the truth. At the end. Is somebody ambao is a alikuwa mtu wao very strong witch unge kanyanga la ini yaka kuambia wewe ugoje within two weeks unakufa so kambia bishop that woman kills the way she wants ah aseme well mwere kama uwa terere akisema hivo ujua kama uwa naenda sasa kambia baba you are not an overcomer until you become. If a witch in your family can kill people the way she or he want, you are not an overcomer until you become. Hello, praise God. Hallelujah. Uko na kijana, uko na muschana, mekusubua akiri. Anaamuka asubia na kawabia mami huna akiri. You are not an overcomer, mwana. We ni mutumwa wa your daughter. Tuwageni ukweli, kuna wazazi hapo na kuta. Your son amekuweka blood pressure your own son akabe unajua i was doing the issue in, in lemuru na if you mtu huko kwa kanisa ambao people practice the blood of christ there this mother walikosana na kijana yake now the mother was sensing strange things umai kuona mtoto wako mnakosana in a strange way about hujui Pako nasema, ni my son, ni my daughter, but our spirits are fighting. Wasazi mnashika what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. Nyenye ni watoto munaonanga, but there are strange things happening, friends. Muliona kuna kijana hapa, alitokea one day, I didn't know tako hapa. Now, did you hear? You know sometimes things from God, muna kani yori. Aka, a young boy was 30, I think 37. Nikamuliza, how did you come to the church? My mother brought me. Nikamabia, na kwa sababu, I can sense uko almost to be initiated uingia satanism. Ni nani wanakuitisha? 
Na nilikuwa nataka muangalie these things are becoming real. Tumekuwa watu tu juu juu. We ignore some factors. And alisema mimi nimeitishwa my mother. Who brought to the church my mother? Sasa that is somebody's son. Lakini sio mtoto wako the way you think. And when they joined those movement, the first enemy actually kama mnajua you need to understand Satan kuna serikali za ulimwengu they are propagating satanic order. Let me just ask a question. How comes their nation sita sema ni gani? Kama sikikuwa kwa watu wanigawabia the first thing your son anafundishwa or your daughter akieda pre-unit number hotline ya police and the first enemy of your son is mother his mother and dad anabwa kuja hapa id your number ya simu in case your mom and your dad wakusubue pika hii simu mtoto anajulishwa your first enemy ni wazazi na msikize in satanism watoto wakiingia kama mjui the first enemy wanafundishwa ni wazazi wake anaambwa don't don't tell your father na in case wakija kaliza wanakuja kama wamecherewa na kaa nyuma and they attack churches from behind si mara moja nyinyi nimehubiri hapo nakuta mtu 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 pale nyuma nguvu ya Mungu imemwangusha na letwa mbele they attack from behind na wanakuja wamechelewa na ibada ikiisha wanaondoka mapema ayazaenda you know there's funny things and that's why i always tell intercessors you need to be taught how to fight not just how to wait upon the lord is how to go after the enemy hallelujah and they overcame by no listen it is by the blood of the lamb here now it, it, it matters a lot you can be the church and you have never used this blood the way it should be used so you are saved but not an overcomer nina watagazie ni leo you are not an overcomer until you practice methods weapons of overcoming how are shida kwa damu they used it they proclaimed it wali tagaza wali nena wali simama hiyo damu wali oba kwa hiyo damu na ikaadikwa ika na wamshida ule muovu sio tu kwa kuita washidi wamemshida kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe yes unaamka asubuhi unasema i cover my family i cover my businesses i cover my vehicle i cover my pregnancy some of you are pregnant i cover this pregnancy in the blood of, you you use the blood to overcome if you don't do it unaenda tu you're not covered because damu ya kristo haifuniki mtu ambao hajaitaja hajainena hajaitumia another thing buy buy hapa ni mbili eh second one is which one by the word of their testimony this is interesting hallelujah i've come to discover watu wengi hutoa ushuhuda kanisani hutoa ushuhuda wakati wa fellowship most people and don't testify at the place of work no unaona kama ukitoa ushuhuda unaudhi imani zingine ni kama ukiwa wa kiroho sana boss atakuvuta kazi there's a brother who, who was doing my hesabu hapa isili and of course dini si ya kikristo ameanjua kwa hesabu ah unajua wakati mtu anachokaka tu unajua mkasema akaamka akasema hallelujah in the name of jesus ah boss alitoka mbele hakuwa najua kwa babozi yake ako na buduki akamwambia taja hiyo jina tena au shoot ni taja tena au shoot you you either stop or you leave this job hello praise god is an issue friends ngabia brother ngabia kitu ngabia you know what we got to do Mtu akikutisha hivyo uogope umefanya makosa. Praise the Lord. 
you need to develop ways of becoming an overcomer. Na hebu nisikize. Don't ever think ujama ni buduki tu wako naye. If you don't cover yourself hata kama utaacha hiyo kazi kuna powers of darkness from that person itakufuata they don't only call it the, 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 the whatever the gun utaona if you don't stop those powers right there if you don't do anything akwambie hivyo uogope unyamaze one thing just check uh, mimi nimekuwa kwa huduma just check those people who keep quiet utampata akatakwambia nilipoenda kulala usiku huo Niliota ni kinyongwa na nyoka. You know why? Because sio tu buduke alikuwa naye. This is an antichrist. This is an antichrist. And and I want to tell you how they operate. The moment they locate you, they want to kill you. Where would you on face a gun? But he had a spiritual gun. I have several cases of kwa ba mtu alitoka bali kama hapo akagogwa na gari. So we need to exercise kila kinaitwa the operation of the blood. Hallelujah. Some of you have lost jobs because you never use the weapon. You are not an overcomer and you become. Hallelujah. I remember one time kuna there was an issue Nairobi University and there was this young boy who was deep in satanism. Akakuta kiongozi mmoja wa CU Anjoana hasa walikuwa na those attacks KU. Jamaa anaambia kiongozi sio wewe naweza ngoa meno yako bila hata kukushika anywhere. Arab mmoja kuambiwa akacheka ai ati naweza ngoa. You see now. Kwake ni kawaida kitabu acheke bili katoka. Msicheke it was serious. Okay. No, the issue is sio tu meno initoka it was an attack. Unakuta huyu jamaa unless mumuombee sana hataishi. Satanism in the hostels. And then praise the Lord if you don't if you don't. You know I was sharing with another girl yeye ako ngambo. I'm not saying ni ngambo gani and ako ana alikuwa anafanya degree yake. The roommate was from I think Japan or whatever Hong Kong, Hong Kong. And I tell you the lady did not know to, to, to the school, you are just student sharing a room. But to this other lady, she's on a mission. Sasa huu dada wetu ameokoka, one to notice usiku, this party na upadirika. Si mutu kawaida. To the school, she is a student. Lakini katika urimwengu wa roho, she has an assignment. So msichana huyu wetu alikudua kwamba kuna mambo imeanza kutokea kwake usiku she was under attack she noticed the neighbor was tra translating to something else wakiamuka whatever na age notice umemwacha amelala si ni kweli but for some time she's not there na mlango uchafuguliwa I said, Bishop, I'm gonna pray for me. Akiabia Shure, can you give me another roommate? It can't work. Nikamabia, now we are going to destroy her because we are overcome us by the blood. It has to be applied. Attack your calm and atta kama meokoka. If you are not going to use the blood of Jesus, things are dangerous. Wamama naomba mujue hivi. Kama utatumia idamu ya Yesu, hii mambo ya premature death is, is a strange thing. Unapata unapata umekaa umekaa umeanza kuumwa na tubu. No these things these things are very strange. You don't understand when the attack is yaza. You know, sometimes people say attendee yaza kwa na a small pimple here. Eh, what happened? Eh, kapipo kadogo tu uka ati uka ukaambia mke wako hebu hebu finya hii kitu alafu kwa daktari alipokata mlisikia samani kulikuwa na story ya ya reporter alikuwa anaitwa Motahi you know story it was the newspaper alienda vika hospital akaambia daktari Fred ika kitu si ukaka ndoe shida he died right there what are, what are those things 
Where you are normal. Only if I make a 50, you make a bleeding. Bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Hello, praise God. And then, unashanga, kero number now, madam, we need to do some biopsy. Wanakwabia uko cancer level 3, CG, whatever. Cancer. Unashidwa, when did this happen? Kukakao na aboa, sasa kemodhala pe, ukakao, tutakuto me. No, when do these things happen? What? It's not infection. Ukiwauliza, what's the cause? We can understand. The other day, I met a doctor, kabia nimetoka mkutano wa madaktari America, bishop. The, a, a conversion of doctors from all over the world, senior doctors. As a bishop, do something. Even today, no one knows what causes cancer. We need to fight. We need to cover. Kama kuna kitu mini kataka mfanye. Cover your body every day. Cancer is now becoming a real, real threat. Now, tumesikia nyandarwa imezidi. Pastor, you know, some things are funny. The other day, women rep wa washingishu. Si nyandarwa? Alisema kitu tunasikia tu Kwa redio, asema, kuna dawa inajulikana, and the government knows, husababisha cancer. And in other nations, it was banned. But he said, he said, inatumiwa sana na watu wa viasi nyandarwa. She was talking, akiwa wapi, wa shingishu, talking about a pesticide, imesimamishwa other countries, Kenya X Mamisho na Kasema, it is being used so much around central Kukura via Kukuza Viasi. Na kanyamaza. And then ukisikia sasa governor Nyandaro Kyogia na Sema, they are they are going to build a cancer center. Nyadarwa should not have cancer. Nieri abao karibu na msitu. They should have good air. Are you understanding now? Bwana Sasana. And then one day we were in the conference. And there's this sister, Kutoka Nyarwaya, Bishop, I talk to yes. Natako Niyombe Niyokoke. She's a, a leader of Sisters Union. Labia Dada Oke Nini. Akasema, Ukulima Wangu. Akasema, Kuna Dawa Tunatumia Viasi. Bishop, I know, Kabisa, your Dawa is dangerous. Na Mimi Kwagu Bishop, Nina Shabayagu Yakado, Yakukuza Viasi Yagu, Ya family. Kwamana Mimi family Yangu. Hawezi kura hide viyasi ni nauza. Hizo ni najua zinaleta kansa ni mbaya. Sasa asema hivi, Bishop, family yangu nesikia vipaya because dawa tuliopewa tukaweka. Eh, viyasi nakuwa kwa jia bao, magudia inajia, but I know. And people know. Tiyoniona mzugu moja na tebea pade hiyo. You know, you can imagine, eh? Ako nakakitu, eh? And they know, these people know. Akabea, how are you? Can I have your potato? Ana fanya hivi. Inaaza kuoza. That white man knows something. May God help us now. We need cover. We need cover. These things are funny. Praise the Lord. We need cover. This blood of Christ need, need to cover us. There is so many ways. Ata hewa yenyewe. Unakuto meka idasuelia. Hewa siyo protected. And then after umefanya kazi, unapewa litaya, unapewa litaya na ugojwa pia ukakuwe. Buwana tusaidia sana na tulinde. They overcame by the blood. This blood can do things that are extraordinary. In just Christ's name. Hallelujah. Now we need to use the blood of the Lord and the word of the testimony. Now this is very important. Kama hamjui, Ushuhuda abao hauja tolewa. It has no effect. Actually, ukieta mikutano ya ijiri. Kue na gome za giza na mapigo. Kama hauta sema yesu ni buwana. Ato uo meokwa kiasi gani. You still have problems. We need to overcome by word of testimony. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I can recall... If you read Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. Now, the Bible is so, 
look at these people giving their testimony. I like it. I hope ukona unaweza uh, Daniel is okay. That chapter 3. Baba anasema hivi katika aya 16. Aya 14. Nebkaneza akawaabia Eni Shadrach na Meshach na Abednego ni kwa makusudi hata uh -huh. let's look at this this is why kidogo mm -hmm. ni kwa makusudi hata hamtumiki Mungu wangu wala kuisujudia sanamu ya dhahabu niliyoisimamisha basi sasa kama mkiwa tayari wakati mtakapoisikia sauti ya panda na filibi na kinubi na seze na santuli na so, eh hizi kwa nyingi bwana eh na somali hizi hata sijui na namna zote za goma kuanguka na kusujudia sanamu niliyosimamisha ni vema bali msipo isujudia mtatupwa saa hiyo hiyo katika tanuru iwakao moto Naye ni nani Mungu yule atakaye waokoa ninyi kwa mikono yangu. Look at the statement of the king. Who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? There is need for testimony because somebody has spoken something that need to be addressed. Are you Can you read this last last word? Sema who this one. Who is that God? That shall deliver you out of my hands. Thumbs kiss Ninani how? Shadrach, Meshach, na Abednego. Wako mikononi mwanani. Nebkanineza. And then, what does he say? Who is that God? Who can deliver you from my hands? Listen. Dunia hii na mawabayake. And uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego needed to become overcomers. They are in somebody's hands. Na kona baba mawili mutasujudia mungu wangu na muina mia sana mwangu. If you don't do it, Hallelujah. Sa hiyo hiyo. Nitakapo tabua You are not worshipping my idol Mutatupua Kwenye moto mkari sana Burning fire furnish And then I say Kwa maana misi yoni Who is that God Who is that God Who can deliver my Now look at this Unless we declare our God Nebkadineza ni wengi sana these days Most of us to commicononi ma some people and some spirits. Urizariwa in a family whereby people are what were your family ni watu mwa. So, where? Is sauti hainenu itu inan kamraneza. Even there is a situation that claims to hold you that needs to know you are God. Yes. Kuna umasikini Wapedo muko haba wapedo Muna cheze wa ovi ovi bwana Umekosa kulipa nyumba miazibili There's a spirit Umekosa kulipa nauri Umekosa kwenda ngambo kwa mana una air ticket Umekosa kwenda kazi kwa mana you are bleeding Yes there's something that need to be overcome You don't assume you are an overcomer Something need to be overcome How are ni watoto wa mungu Wametolewa juda. Wanaabudu Jehovah. Nisalimieni. But their testimony is yet to deliver them. Hallelujah. Did you get that? Do you know there's somebody here that your testimony is yet to deliver you? There's somebody that, there's something that you need to speak in your business so that your testimony can deliver you. There's something you need to speak to your mother and dad. There's something you need to speak to your husband. There's something you need to speak at the place of work. In just Christ's name, hallelujah. Can you imagine these people, their God's children, 
But somebody is claiming Nanasema, I don't understand that other God who can deliver you from your hands. From my hands. Now, let me, let me say that we need to, to be delivered. We need to be. Mm. Praise the Lord. Not only from people, but from spirit. Ninya taka to ukweli. Na mkubali. Na msijifanye. Watu wakage vizuri wakine. Na siyo kwa bahuja wako. Ni dugu wali okoka. Lakini uko mikononi. Nebukadineza wa inafulani. You are in the hands of a system. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. Buwana asifiwe sana. You see there, there's this boy. Aliko university. And nakukawa na lecture, a, 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 a lecture, I think it was a tribal thing, satanic thing. Kijana nakawa university miaka sita saba. And he's supposed to be there for three, four years. And one day, one day, a lecturer, akaita baba, kamye baba, this is your son, yes, siwa fichi. You see that professor there, as long as that man Akapa University, this boy will never graduate. Either Mwede Kotini, Akasema, there is something very strange. That person want to destroy this son. Na Akasema, Nimewai be a Siri. I'm a Christian. I know there's something strange with that professor. And the boy came here. Kabia, Nipe Jinayake. He said, Do you have faith? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Atajua mungu ako hai. Either pigwe transfer out this week avutwe kazi. You know what happened? Within a week, he was not there. And the, the brother's name appeared katika list ya graduation. But the problem is, it appeared akiwa memuangusha likuwa na pass. Which university about umaisikia muta ame graduate? Arafu after I think six months, unapigiwa simu, unapua, can you please come for your right result? Ariaba, we gave you pass, but you are second class honor. You see, there are times, see when a student, I know my sister, my sister alikuwa, alafanya PhD. We have to pray, at Oke University, mwenye Nairobi, I had the adorate. Somebody alikuwa meapa. PhD haupati. I said, no, my brother, do I give up now? I don't need mm, mm, ah, Hello, praise God. And he moved to sasa keep head a professor. And then we had, alipo had it took a few months. Nikabua kabia, I said, brother, nipo leke pote PhD yagu sasa. Let me tell the truth. What I told you, I'm angry. I'm ikononi. They are saved. They are brothers and sisters. But Nebuchadnezzar was a sawako. What I say, who will remove you from my hands? You are brother in Christ. Lakini mushara wako, umeshi kwa namuto. You are sister in Christ. Lakini we we. Hello, praise God. Hey, hello. Ni watu aga papa na biya bishop. Kuna mtu wetu alisema. Kuna mtu wetu alisema. Oi geto tiga there are so many people here. You are followed by a word of curse. About ya biwa ilinenwa na babu yako. Let me say this. Let me ask a question. There are people who come. Kuna mtu now. Is this your wife? Yes. You know, discernment is very... Where? Kubabanua kuna sa idea. Kamiwa, kamiwa, madam, speak the truth. Na woge. Adam, your brother, kiri watasewa musamehe. Kabla huja olewa na huyu. Kuna mwanaume mulikuwa na ena mukazana ye. Speak the truth. Asema, ye, dio. Mukiachana adisemaje. 
alisema daima nitahagaika na sitawahi saa na unataka msikize na msione kama these things are not real si amekuja kaolewa atakaolewa tena sijui whatever hasai hasai kambia nao praise the lord you are in the hands ya something akas satanism which craft uko kwa hii doa bwana sio sana nikaambia we need unahitaji turudi katika your roots utubu down pick 1 2 we destroy those powers kwa maana we need to answer Nebuchadnezzar this question this question Nebuchadnezzar was sasa awe ni spirit awe ni neighbor awe ni nani huyu mtu anahitaji jibu this person requires an answer hallelujah it can be a spirit in your family it can be a curse in your family abai nasema who is that god who shall deliver you out of my hands there's still a demon there's still a person a satanic person a worship of the devil umeangukia mikononi mwake kazini nasema nani atakutoa kuna maroho ya estate kuna maroho and we need to do something french na anasema listen now the only way is uabudu kila nasema uwe na amani na mi uwe mtumwa and i thank god they overcame by the blood of jesus and the word of their testimony i'm sending you now to be an overcomer french today we are releasing of overcomers in jesus name hallelujah aidha ni roho ili hapa hii au ni rana ya uko no tell me i'm here sometimes you find your mother crying when mom nini baya anasema unajua mlipokuwa wadogo babu yenu kabla hajakufa tulikosana akasema na wewe hakuna mtoto wako ataolewa eh eh na ni kweli haya hawaolewi there is still a demon which is claiming who shall who is that god that shall deliver you out of my hands you are yet to introduce the god who can deliver you nawaambieni hamuja muleta mungu kwa nguvu zake na leo katika meza ya bwana we are going to bring the god who can deliver us mtu ambaye umekaa miaka yote uolewi we are saying the god who can deliver you is going to be seen mtu wewe ambaye miaka yote kwenu kwenu no mama mwingine wapendo we need to address ogeni ukweli i i admire sisters mko na burden sana wanasema bishop tagu nikiwa mdogo baba yangu hajawezi weka ngomba ngombe au buzi akinunua tu zinakufa i've never seen my dad raise ngombe au buzi the moment inakuja they die no things don't just happen you need to be delivered from the hands of somebody in jesus name in jesus name unapata your your daughter ule mkubwa aliolewa katupwa anayefuata ametupwa watatu ametupwa nani haoni hiyo si accident vivi there needs to this family needs to be delivered from a threat we need friends hallelujah hallelujah na watu wengi hawataki to do those issues hawataki unakuta sister yako mkubwa aliolewa mume wake akafa mwingine akaolewa mume wake akafa mwingine akaolewa waine ndio sasa tunangojea tuone naye ataenda nani haoni this need for deliverance na wengi badara ya uje tuombe Mungu wa kweli mumeenda kwa diviners who are walio na network na hiyo mapepo 
Uriada kali yo bank. Ukabwa sijui. You need to be very careful. But you should overcome now. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar need to be answered this question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says, Dipo, Shadrach, Meshach, na Abednego decided to overcome by the word of their testimony. I said they decided to overcome by the word of their testimony. When I say, Masikia, now Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. Tojua, we are going to overcome today by the word of our testimony. They stood up and said, now we can answer you. You, may, you are provoked a need for overcomers who overcome by their testimony. Akabia Dipo Shadrach, Meshach na Abed Nego Akajibu. Wakamabia mfame, Ebukadnezar. Hatu na haja kukujibu katika reno hili. Hallelujah. Kama ni hivyo. Mungu wetu, tunayamu tumikia. Hallelujah. Aweza kutuokoa na tanuru ili iwakao moto. Nae atatuokoa na mkono wako emfame. Baali kama si hivyo ujue emfame ya kuwa. Hallelujah. Hatuta kubali kutumikia mingu yako. Wala kuisujude yo saname ya dhahabu Uriyo isimamisha Bana azwa sana Hallelujah Kuna testimony na gojewa I said kuna testimony na gojewa eh, that, eh, Nebuchadnezzar anaya kutesa Either it's a spirit or a curse Is waiting for a testimony that you finish him I Kuna ushuda kumalizia mtu bana This man anaba If you go to verse 17 Wanasema hivi we are going to answer you now, Nebuchadnezzar. Ataka ujue, our God, the God umesema, uh, unachezea kwa ba ni nani huyo, our God will deliver us from your hands. Na ata siyo tu mikono yako, ata kutoka kuyo moto kitutupa. Na ata kama sivyo, we are not ready, it cannot, haiwe zekani. We, unajua kuna ushuhuda wa kumanizia shetani. Na kuna usudikini wanaka kama ni saramu. Huku tokea vizuri. Huku kata vizuri. Huku shu. Eh? Huku pika vizuri. To ushuda ba unakata. To ushuda ba unamanizia lana. To ushuda ba unamanizia tama fulani. To ushuda ba unamanizia utaifu fulani. Ana, wanasema hivi. Sikia. Kama si hivyo. We are not ready and we cannot. Hallelujah. Hatuwezi inamia sanamu hii. Hatuwezi judia migu yako. Haiweze kani. Now, even before anything happens, we are giving a testimony that is absolute, complete. Na tunaweka full stop. There is no space for negotiation. We cannot. We better die. I say God is waiting for your testimony. It will connect your situation with his throne. It will connect your situation with his favor. God is, was waiting for the testimony of winners. Testimony of power. In a muinua John of Ganeza. And he was able to come. Your testimony will cause God to appear. And they overcame by the blood. And they also overcame by the other testimony. But I want to say something. If you check. Revelation 12 verse 11, it has a third element. In the third, the third. Revelation 12 verse 11, in the third, na hawa kupenda. Can you look at them? Look at the third one. And they loved, can you read that? They loved not their lives unto death. I have a question. Do you see that in the testimony of Shadrach? They are saying now, listen, to the testimony that our God is able to deliver us. We also have a testimony that we love God. We can even die for him. Kama kuna kitu that should be feared is that nina ushuhuda kristo ataniokoa na atanipigania na ata siyo peke yake nina ushuhuda wakumpeda 
I can even die for righteousness. I'm so complete. I have no space for negotiation or compromise. And you are going to be overcomers. Nakatika meza bona leo. God is saying, we release the blood of Jesus. We release the word of our testimony. And we release a final word to the demons and powers of darkness. Abazo tumejipata mikononi mwake. Ninani atakutoa kwa hii. Leo, we, kuna watu leo kusema wakono useme, my brothers and sisters, ninaona mimi, watoto wangu wataenda mpaka ngambo na hakuna ule hatapata PhD. Watasa, eh, eh, ume, kana wagari yae. Unujua even kuogea hivyo ni wafanga, umesema nini? Ah, wedi utakuwa kwaza. Hata wataka, wataka, Cheka kwa bia, e, 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 aujui kwa hii bale ya kamau na kwa inange na bale ya kwa echi. Iyo haija tajwa kwa e, e. Yani hata wanazima wana, takuchekerea. Umeongea kitu wabao. Katika, unajua kuna watu wamekaa mikononi wa kitu fulani. Kwa ba, they are not even allowed to say anything good. Kama hawa watu wagekubadi ya mkaneza, wagekua na raha. E, eh? na maisha ya ya ya, ya mfaume raha ya kwake lakini chini ya mapepo na miugu ya giza let's start for prayer